Now I'm joined here by Longford Town manager Neil Fenn. Neil, a 2 0 loss to Cabo. But I don't think that really sums up the game, does it? Um, I don't think it does. I don't think we were good enough. I think um, 2 0 was probably a fair result. Yeah, we could have been the post and we possibly could have nicked one, but um, we just weren't good enough. I think there was times where we just seemed to be very sloppy, you know, especially at the back. In the 95th minute, I think it was, we conceded a late goal. What, what were your thoughts when that went in? Oh, I'd say, you know, that was, that was the last kick of the game. I was, I was thinking worse things before that, you know. We just, we just, we just, we think we're better than what we are, I think. And um, when we come to away games, um, we think we can outplay teams and out, out, out fox them. But the, the first thing you have to do is outfight them, and we're not doing that. Cabo just seemed to be this team that we just have trouble with all the time. And that's no disrespect to Cabo. Cabo are a good side. They showed it again tonight with another victory over us. But what do you think the problem was tonight overall in terms of how the team performed? Um, like you say, Cabo are a good team, so you've got no right to come here and, 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 and be able to do anything you want. And we do. We, we, we think we can come here and just play the game how we want at our tempo, doing what we want. And when you come to pitches like this and games against Cabo and, and teams that are, that are up there, you, you're not going to be able to do that. Um, they're very disciplined, they keep their shape. Um, and and I suppose they've got a little bit of luck with the first goal with Connor slipping, but you know, they're always a constant threat. We weren't good enough in the final third, didn't keep the ball well enough, didn't get enough balls in the box, and that's what happens. You get caught again right at the end. You were a while in the dressing room after with the lads when the game finished. What did you say to them, or if you want to tell us? Uh, you know, at the end of the matches, it's always someone's fault, and it? it's always it's always the different person's fault. So, you know, we all had a, a little, not so much a clear the air, just a just a little just a little chat about about stuff, and um, you know, we'll, we'll be better next week. From a manager's perspective, was there any positives you'll take from tonight? No. We look ahead to Galway next week. You know, we say it every week at home and away. Every game is vital, but next week truly is in terms of a title race or even a, a promotion play playoff spot. Uh, next week is must for three points. Yeah, you can forget the, the title race now. I mean, promotion is or, or the playoff spot now is is our realistic goal, and, and we need to do better than that. Otherwise, we're going to get turned over every week. So, yeah, it's a, it's, it's a massive game for us. But we've been saying that since for the last seven or eight games, and it doesn't seem to have that much of an effect on them today. We, you know, we seem a bit inconsistent at the moment. A good win last week away to draw a disappointing defeat tonight. But at the same time, we had a good support from Longford people tonight out here in Stradbrook. What do you say to them? You know, maybe coming out to the game next week after a disappointing defeat tonight. It's tough, you know. It's, it's hard for us because they're, they're, they're really good supporters, and they, 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 you know, even they were cheering us on right to the end. So I feel for them massively, and I know the players do as well deep down. It's just we need to dust ourselves off and hope for a big crowd next week.